Well, today we're going to do another simple cook. And that's going to be pig wings. Now there's a misconception going around the, the YouTube right now that pig wings come from the back legs. And we're here around the knee bone or the shank. I beg to differ because I believe somewhere in this area of the United States, there's a farm growing pigs with wings. Because I got some from Porter Road. And here's what they're doing. They're coming not where the, the wing meets the body, but just a little higher up here where it's not worked so much. And they're cutting that wing out. And they're selling it. And we're going to cook one today. Well, two today. One from this wing and one from this wing. And I've never cooked one, so... Uh, we're going to learn together. Alrighty then. All we got to do is cook it. Click on the link in the description below. After you hit that like button, go to Porter Road, look up pork wings, and hit that add to cart button. And these babies here will show up on your front step. And this is what a pig wing looks like. They got a bone in it. I guess you got to have a little rigid rigidity to uh, flap them wings. And here's some kind of aerodynamic covering on the back. We will have to get rid of that. We'll just, uh, you've watched us do it before. Just get you a sharp knife and just peel it off. Try not to cut too much meat off while you're doing it. And after it looks something like this, it's good and clear, we're just going to season it up. We're going to use Mojo Barbecue. And Mojo tip for the day, before you head down to the comment section below and say, you use too much rub. Oh, that's too salty. It's going to be salty. Read the ingredients. Sugar is the first ingredient on the list, so that means there's more sugar than salt. You'll have a bigger chance catching the diabetes and the high blood pressure, so the only thing salty here would be you. Alrighty, we got her uh, seasoned up. We're going to cook her on the drum today. We're going to be running at 275 degrees. And all we got to do is just stick these babies on there. We got a little Fogo charcoal down there in the bottom, if you can see. And a few chunks of cherry for some sweet smoke and a little color. Let's put this lid on. We're going to let it run for about an hour and 45 minutes. And when that time's up, here's what you got. We're going to look at them. They got a good color. Bark has formed quite nicely, as you can see. It won't come off. It won't be on your finger. So it won't take any more smoke. And another way you'll know, she'll be sitting around 165, 170. So, since we've never cooked these before, what I like to do with pork is just treat it like a rib. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take us a little cube of butter, stick her down, get some of this bee's knees spicy honey, because it's some good stuff. Give her a little dousing down, add one more little pat of butter on top, and wrap her up. Now, we want to wrap her up tight because... You get a loose wrap, you think you do a lot more steaming than you do, or well, maybe it is steaming. Anyways, just wrap her up tight. Get you some of this mango juice. I just saw it at the store and thought it'd go good with pork. Pour it in a little bit, wrap up that in, and she's ready to go back out on the grill. And in my mind, I'm thinking it's gonna take about 45 minutes. And once we get this back on, and we're still running at 275, once that 45 minutes is up, we're going to stick a thermal pin in her, and it's 207. I think we're there. So let's let this rest a little bit and mix up a sauce. Get your favorite sauce. Let's get her good and hot. We're going right to the point below boiling. We're going to pour in that jus that we've been soaking that meat in for a while. That will add a little extra flavor to that sauce. Oh, yeah, and... That bark has softened up in the wrap, so we're going to stick her back out on the smoker for, let's say, about five minutes so we can get that bark back solid. Then all we're going to do is brush her down. Go as heavy or as light as you want. This is your cook. Once we get her sauced up, we're going back out on the grill. We're looking maybe about 10 minutes until that sauce is good and tacky and it just won't get all over your face. This is what they should look like. Don't drop it, son. Now we're at the part of the video. We're not going to have a reveal shot because we're just going to 
pick them up and eat them. So let's take a look here. We got the bone. Pretty color. I don't know why I'm holding my hand under. It ain't like it's dripping on me. But they are good looking, different. Look almost like a chicken thigh. Let's take a bite. Let me tell you. The old pig wing is pretty good. Now, if you're looking for texture of a rib, it's not. It's got more of a ham texture. But the taste, it's amazing. Well, that Mojo barbecue, I mean, anything's amazing. So, all you got to do here is order some and try it. Get on the grill this weekend. And uh, Mojo is out. <laughs>